my name is Rami Belsky. I'm with Brown's Volkswagen on Midlothian Turnpike, and today we're taking a look at the 2018 Kia Sedona SX. Taking a look at the front of the vehicle, you're gonna see that nice grill with the front camera right there in the middle, right underneath the Kia symbol, and underneath the hood, you're gonna see the 3.3 liter V6 engine. This vehicle comes with a six-speed automatic transmission. This car is front-wheel drive, and you can see all the fluids are clearly marked here. It's in really good condition. Take a look at these nice, expansive front headlights and fog lights, as well as these nice tires. The tread on all of these tires is in really good condition, so I'll let you look at all of this. You're going to see really good gas mileage as well on this minivan. About 17 miles in the city and 22 on the highway. Taking a step back from the vehicle, you're going to notice the nice roof racks on top, as well as the chrome trim on the door handles and down below as well. Up close, you're gonna see these turn signals here on the side mirrors, and the side mirrors do fold in and out as needed. And this little icon here indicates your blind spot monitoring feature. You have your fuel tank on the driver's side and coming around the back, you'll notice those nice broad tail lights there. And above the license plate, you'll see the little backup camera. A feature I really like for this vehicle is the keyless proximity entrance. So the key is on my person and you can lock and the mirrors will fold in and the door is locked. And then you can also unlock it by placing your thumb there. The mirrors will fold out and then you can open. We're going to make our way into the back of the vehicle. Nice powered automatic doors. Three seats in the second row. And you can fit up to three people in the third row as well. So tons of seating in this vehicle. The second row here. It's really comfortable. There's plenty of leg room. Um, the seats are leather, they're very comfortable. Uh, it smells really good in here as well. There are doors that open both sides, so it's super easy to get in and out all the passengers at once. If you want to access the third row, there's a little lever here, so you're gonna pull it up and it folds forward pretty easily, so you can just slip inside the third row. And the third row, it's also plenty of space. You got your cup holders, your little uh, sun shield there on both sides. So that's very comfortable for everyone. So now I'm going to show you how to put down that third row. So if you want more cargo space than this, you're going to want to put this third row down. Um, it's not, it takes two hands, but it's not difficult at all. Um, I'll try to do this with the camera. You're going to pull this strap first and fold these down. And then where it says pull here, you're just going to pull and both of the seats will kind of sink into this bottom part there so you can store them. Like I said, mostly you just need two hands. It's hard when I'm holding the camera, but there you go. So that's if you want to stow the third row and just have all cargo space. So pretty easy and they um, pop up the same way. You do this one first and then pull and then the strap. Like that. So I'm in the front seat now. Again, you can see um, on the passenger side plenty of leg room. Uh, you get 
nice glove box another little compartment up there as well this is really nice paneling multiple air vents on the door you can see um, your cup holder and your storage space and then your power controls for your windows and your locks nice little console here in the middle plenty of storage space there as well and more cup holders up above you're going to see all of your your reading lights and then there's also reading lights in the second and third rows as well i'm seated behind the steering wheel now um, this is a heated steering wheel it's leather wrapped and the um, heating control for this is right here so it's on and i'm actually going to turn it off because it's already warmed up um, there's plenty of leg room in the driver's seat as well i had to scoot the seat up a ton just to reach the pedals um, there are power controls for both the driver and the passenger side in the front which is really convenient and in the cockpit you're going to see this multifunction display screen there in the middle you can change what you see on this display screen um, with your little controls so if you can scroll up and down it gives you all sorts of driver assistance data which is really handy and the rest of the features on the steering wheel just include your cruise control options here and once your phone is connected you can do um, voice controls on your phone and pick up and end calls on the armrest you're going to see your controls for your windows up here your locks and then to adjust your side mirrors you're going to use these controls there these side mirrors are um, they're like memory controlled um, so you can program them to be at a certain place and then once you've put the car into reverse they're gonna like lower down so you can see in reverse better which is cool up here you're gonna see your other driver assistance features such as your blind spot monitoring and your lane keep assist there headlight control options here as well as your windshield wipers and moving over to the middle console, um, your control, your climate control zones, this is for your heated seats. Heat is on this side for both your driver and passenger, and on the blue side indicates for your air conditioned seats. So you can high, medium, or low for those. In front of that, you're going to see your USB and aux cable inputs. And then for the rest of your climate controls are going to be up here. So this is for the rear. And then this is also um, for your driver and your passenger in the front seat as well. So pretty self-explanatory. Adjusting the fans and the temperature as well. This touch screen is easy to navigate. Your all menus button is going to take you kind of to your home screen. You're going to be able to go to your radio options, your music options there. There's navigation integrated here, which is fantastic. You can put in your address, you can put in a certain route. That's awesome, and that's going to be on this half of the screen. You're going to have your, um, if you're listening to the radio, that's going to be there. And then your menu. It's going to be another way to get to your music apps there as well. Down below that, you're going to see all the, if you didn't want to use a touch screen, you could use these options as well. So go to your setup or connect your phone, skip tracks, all of your options there. To utilize the backup camera, simply click into reverse. The backup camera is going to come on on this side and you can back up using these navigation lines which are moving to ensure that you get into the right spot. And on this side, you're going to see your area view. So you're going to be able to see if anything's maybe on the sides of your car that you may hit. So this is the 2018 Kia Sedona. If you have any questions about this wonderful vehicle, please give me a call. I can be reached at 804-551-5537. Again, I am Rami Belsky. I'm with Brown's Wolfswagen on the Midlothian Turnpike. Thank you so much for watching.